It's powerful, and that's the thing. And they bring it in together. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. So we got Alfonso here at the age of 24, 32 years old for Leal, and the official weight 135.2 for Alfonso, 136 on the dot for Leal, five foot seven. Alfonso five foot six for Leal, five eight reach for Alfonso, five foot seven. So an inch advantage there, him for Alfonso. Four zero undefeated for the young up and coming uh, fellow here, and then of course 13 and 10, tons of experience coming in for double A. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the Bantam Way division. Señoras y señores, este combate es de tres asaltos de cinco minutos en la categoría de peso gallo de Lux Fight League. Presentando primero en la esquina blanca. Él es un striker con récord profesional de 13 ganadas, 10 perdidas. Una altura de un metro con 68 centímetros y un peso oficial de 136 libras. Presenting now on the white corner. He's a striker per record of 13 wins, 10 losses. His stance, 5 feet, 6 inches tall. An official weight of 136 pounds. Fighting straight out of Bogotá, Colombia. He's Andrés. Doble A Leal. Su oponente al otro lado de la jaula, en la esquina negra. Un especialista en lucha olímpica. Récord profesional de cuatro ganadas, cero perdidas. Una altura de un metro con 70 centímetros y un peso oficial de 135.2 libras. Presenting now on Black Corner. He's an Olympic wrestler per record of four wins, no losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, an official weight of 135.2 pounds. From Falcón, Venezuela, and fighting straight out of Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, he is Mauricio the Hammer, Alfonso. The third inside the cage, el tercero sobre la jaula, Gerardo Cruz. Gerardo Cruz will be the referee for this match. Can't wait to get things going here inside the very, very warm and historic Fronton Mexico. Opened back in 1929. We're talking about almost 100 years of history of this great venue. Gerardo Cruz is ready. Our fighters are ready. Let's go. Welcome to the black and gold cage. Live on UFC Fight Pass, this is Lux 29. Alongside UFC veteran Alex Soto, I am Francisco X Rivera. So glad that you can join us. Wow, and Leal kind of gave up really a lot of real estate here at the beginning here. It was kind of interesting. Alfonso just stepped right in, already setting the pace here. Leal tries to step inside the pocket, Ooh. but then he's welcomed by Alfonso. And oh, he's, the hands. he's down. Oh, Alfonso man. tries to finish things up in the first round, as he stopped before. What an uppercut there. Man, and a hook attacked. to the body. Yeah, and he hooked to the body big time. Wow, he's so powerful. This is what I'm talking about. Alfonso's just got so much power in those hands. Oh, right, and he, uh, It's out of the border. All right, as let's they say. see. Let him go to neutral corner. Yeah, I don't think Alfonso wants to take a break. No, man, Alfonso's on him, man. But Leal over here came back from the dead and uh, was able to shoot a, a, a right from the ground. I don't even know how he did that. Yeah. I'll have to look at the replay. Yeah, Alfonso doesn't know what it is to fight in the second round. Look at him. He's ready to go. Protect yourself at all times. Never trust that hand tap, man. Never. Okay, let's see if Leal's here. Ooh. Oh! And the hammer is pounding. Oh! Look at the reaction from Leal. Alfonso is tested for the first time in his career as a wrestler. Yes, and he, he goes right to, go to his. Yeah. He goes right, to, right back to his bread and butter when he's when he's in trouble. I mean, this is the this is why wrestlers become world champions. You know, that that wrestling really takes people out of their striking game, and uh, and it, and then you fall ill to the, the striking game of a wrestler. Yeah, the very first time Alfonso has been tested. Takes the fight to the ground. Oof. 
Beautiful right hands there landed there from Leal. Yeah, let's see oh, armbar. Yeah, let's see oh my goodness, it there. looks tight. Alfonso tries to slam his opponent and get out. Nice. Oh, oh man. That was scary for a moment. <laughs> They're just going at it now. <laughs> nice little chip elbow right in there. Under three minutes to go here. In round number one. It's going to be tough to get Alfonso off of you, man. He's heavy. Alfonso working offside control here against a very feisty, a very competitive Andres Leal in a match of Colombia. Yeah, good movement there. I mean, he was standing in the pocket there, throwing bombs. But nice hook shot there, trying to get some space to get Alfonso off of him. It's so difficult to get you know an Olympic level wrestler off of you. Even more difficult when he's throwing punches at you. There's a nice triangle attempt there. Yeah, Alfonso gets out, tries to go into side control. Ooh. Half a fist right there. He's just pounding on his opponent. Tries to do more damage. A lot of credit to Andres Leal. He's been able to withstand a lot of damage from a very powerful Alfonso. Nice. Oof, that one, that one snuck in. Big right hand. Now he's got some space here. Man, this is why I like this kid. Look at this. Power, power in his game. Alfonso keeps him going, switch into southpaw now. He got him right on the button. Now it keeps him going. Ooh, nice combinations there from Leal. Yeah, he swung and missed then, Alfonso. Takes him down again. Trying to get some grinding points from the judges. And now he's got to worry about the wrestling again, right? I mean, just as soon as Leal gets any type of, of success in the striking game, there goes Alfonso in securing, you know, an, an easy takedown. Yeah, and watch out for Leal's grappling in his submission game. He's finished 12 out of his 13 wins. You gotta watch out for him. Wow, look at that pressure Alfonso's putting up. Ooh, left hook lands. Alfonso's gotta be careful here, can't get too cocky. We're talking about a man with 23 fights here. Ooh, nice sprawl. Oh! Leal from his knees, and this throw just banging. What a finish. Wow. This is what my leg is about. And Alfonso is stumbling to his corner right now. He's going to the wrong corner, doesn't even know where he's at. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. That's quite a way to start our evening here in the historic Fronton Mexico, our last event of the year, and these guys want to show up. Man, and we, of course, we got Jorge Masvidal here joining us tonight. Already talking to our friends up there with our uh, Spanish-speaking team. Let's look at the body shots here. Let's look at the replay here. Right hook. Right, straight down the pipe. Alfonso's just throwing, make, just having some fun here tonight. But Leal's game, man, he's all about it. Look at this. Here's a big takedown. Right hands. I mean, they're just dirty boxing. Look at that sprawl. On the knees. I don't think. Alfonso moved to Guadalajara. Oh, to get just his ate him going. Oh, man, these guys are throwing down. Yeah. Alfonso training with Samurai. This is our current strawweight champion, Saray Orozco. And look at Leal, he keeps him going. And Alfonso is obviously in trouble. That's why he goes to the takedown once again. This has to be the biggest test right now for Alfonso. I don't think he's seen somebody that will stand and bang and is not afraid of him like we've seen here right now. Very powerful or very talented, but, it, but we can't forget that Andres Leal has gone through 23 fights in his career.
experience counts for a lot. Man, absolutely, look at this. Let's see if uh, Leal's able to get him off. Alfonso now seems a little bit more, more relaxed here in the top game here. Ooh. Big elbow from Alfonso, but he, he's got to watch out for the triangle. And that looks, man, he is fast with it too. There's Leal, securing a triangle choke now. Oh, right into an armbar. Oh, it looks tight. Slipping, it's slipping. Switch right there. And Alfonso's able to get out, falls into side control. And this could be the opportunity he's been waiting for. He's looking at his corner here, telling him everything's okay. Leal's side control here being dominated now on the ground. But he's doing a good job. See how he's turning his hip towards Alfonso. That's what he needs to be doing. And shooting that high, that arm, his right arm, all the way up to the sky. Look at this light. That knee on top. And mount his opponent. Yeah, easy mount there for Alfonso. Yeah. And a lot of time left in the second round. Yeah. We're wrapping up 2022 here at the Fronton Mexico. We'll begin the year in there Monterrey. There it is. See if he gets his hips underneath him. He does. Nice. Beautiful slip. Oh, he's a right hand. And right away, both of them inside the pocket. Oh! Alfonso with a straight right, but Leal gets him back. Man, this is an exciting matchup. Oh, wow, Leal goes for a takedown. Yeah, good sprawl there from Alfonso. Gotta watch out for a submission attempt there. His corner's asking Leal to stand up. Keep this fight up on the on the feet. Alfonso's doing well, de defending well. Oof! Now Alfonso's got the knee on the arm. Alfonso coming down with the left there. Oof! Big elbows. elbows from the right side. So after wrapping up our 2022 here in Mexico City, we're going back to Monterrey, February 3rd. Get ready. It's gonna be a great way to start locks again. Can you believe we started in 2018? <laughs> I can't believe how, how much time has flown. We're gonna start our sixth year already with locks finally. Oh. Beautiful elbow from the bottom from Leal. Last minute here. Yeah, and he's staying busy, staying busy here. Alfonso seems to be kind of catching his, his breath here, trying to get ahead here. Nice. Oh, look at the strength there from Leal. Takes so much energy. Round one was such a roller coaster one. It's going to be tough to, to, to score. Yeah. Round two, I believe, has to go to Alfonso. Agreed. Agreed. Just been a wild ride all the way around. And they do it right in front of Jorge Masvidal, the BMF. Thirty seconds left now. And Alfonso keeps his mothering his opponent. Wow, it's really difficult here, trying to get some space here without giving up too much. 10 seconds left. Wow, he gets up. Ooh, and a knee in the right hand. And Alfonso once again trying to go to the ground. He does not want to trade with Andres Leal. The Colombians are just giving it all here. Whoa, oh, man. We got ourselves a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at some of the replays here. Left hook, right hook, lands. I think a little bit of hesitation there, inside leg kick there from Leal. Then big, big ground and pound there from Alfonso. Arm bar attempts, triangle attempts. Leal's been just working, working nonstop for this, this whole time. Eats a right hook there from Alfonso. Man. 
and it's crazy just to see the the tenacity of Alfonso. You know, right, right, he's he's got him in a in a dominant position, lets him up, and gets into a striking exchange. He's been getting caught even himself, but he's just constantly testing himself. All righty. Imagine if this is our starting fight of the evening. How are our main events going to look like? <laughs> this is how I love starting fights. Yep. Here we go. Oh! Alfonso got the out. That's a hammer just missed. Yes, he did. <laughs> Man, that was a hammer. That was a death hammer blow. Man, that hammer had some wrath. <laughs> Man. See, Leal has to be careful with those leg kicks. He's very, he's very, um, he's he's not setting those things up. He's leaving himself very vulnerable for a combination. He needs to he needs to just throw a couple of combinations with the hands before throwing that leg kick again. Nice well, inside the leg. Look at Leal, and right away, as soon as he gets in trouble, Alfonso tried to go for the single leg takedown. Oh! Down. And as he was getting up, he got him right on the groin. Oh man. Getting a lot of support here. From family, I would. I, 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 I would don't know. I, I didn't know what she was saying. I don't know if she was with him or not. No, she was saying, You're already there. Just take a breath. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Take a breather, yeah. So, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, she's really into it. Here it is. Okay. Man. See, this will affect Alfonso. Well, gets a little breath here for Alfonso, I think. And missing Andres Doble Leal. I think Leal likes to fight in this in this kind of uh, conditions here. Struggling, you know, and I think Alfonso has not been tested like this. Oh, right hand lands beautifully. Yeah. Beautiful right hand lands. Oh wow, the Colombian Leal is giving it all against the Venezuelan Alfonso. Oh, and another right hook. Oh, and a left. Leal got him. Oh! Alfonso has to go for the takedown. Overcommitted to that combination. Now he got taken down. Who you got so far, Venezuela or Colombia? I, I don't care. <laughs> this one, this, this is a fun fight to call. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be very tough for the judges. I, I don't want to. I mean, I don't want to be a judge at all. But especially for this fight, I wouldn't want to be involved. I mean, I, I think it would be safe to say to lean on Alfonso as being the uh, the. the the one has been dominating the fight on the ground uh -huh. for the longer time. But boy, has Leal had some really close calls here. Pushing on the hips here. Let's see if Leal's can be able to make some, you know, make, make some movements here. Get some space, get back up again. But Alphonse is just relentless on the ground here. Hammer fist. Oh, Jesus. Some elbows there <laughs> from Leal. Some shots. He doesn't want to quit. It's crazy the amount, the pace that these guys have been going at for the last, the last 14 minutes is crazy. Yeah, the energy is unreal. Let's consider that. Alfonso had never gone past the first round. It is. Three knockouts in a retirement room. It's going to be tough to pull that here in the third round, but yeah. they are still sticking to hey, it. But we've seen it before. We've seen this. Anderson, Anderson Silva, Chael Sonnen. Yes. 100%. Boston, Massachusetts, 2010. How do you know that? <laughs> no, you know what? It was actually Oakland. Because okay. I was calling the fight. Ah, it was okay. actually Oakland, UFC 117. Yeah, I was fun. What a fun affair. There it is. There it is. Nice angle now. Oh! Let's see if you can lock that in, though. There's a lot of space there. There we go. Hammer fist. He can't get it. He can't get it. Alfonso's taking some deep breaths. 
Yeah. Alfonso with a little bit of lay and pray oh. here. Man. And then takes his time. Oh! To go back to his ground and pound. Punches, hammer fist, elbows, everything. Coming this, down from the Venice Road. This might be it. I think this is it. Gerardo Cruz is very close just in case. But Leal, you know, a lot of credit to him. He's got a lot of heart. Wow. He's shown a lot of fighter spirit to stay alive. Absolutely. Not only that, but just those just elbows that he just took. I mean, there's blood just squirting everywhere right now. I'm not sure where it's coming from. I would assume it's a nose. Yeah, and I don't believe Alfonso wants to go back. I don't think so either. I think I think we got less than a minute here. 20 seconds now. Yes, I will move. 10 seconds. You can kick him there. Have to wait a little Whoa. bit. Stood him up. Yeah. Wow. Man, that was quite a performance from the Colombian Andres Leal and the Venezuelan Mauricio Alfonso. Fight of the year candidate. Hey, agreed, man. That fight was awesome. <laughs> what a fun fight. What a way to start off the night. Well, just imagine with it, what we have going on next. And I'm spotting strawweight champion Sarai Orozco in the stands. We have Jorge Masvidal in the building. The BMF, BMF, I'm sorry. We have our flyweight champion, Eli Rodriguez, in the building as well. Great night of fights here in Mexico City. All right, let's, let's take, take a look. A look. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Boom. See, he was coming in with those right hand, with those, with that high flying kick, you know, and, and he was getting caught coming in. He did it about three times in the fight, but he was very successful in these combinations. Leal was throwing in those counters, staying in the pocket, connecting. I think he was actually doing better than Alfonso, but it was right here when you're looking at these elbows coming in, from this ground and pound that Alfonso has. You know, this ability. Uh, that he has as a wrestler to be able to just shut down all of his opponents. I mean, this kid's undefeated, 5-0. and oh. I mean, another bantamweight contender coming up. So much potential for this kid. And he's only getting better. Let's go up inside the cage with Felipe de Maria, who's ready to deliver the official decision. Señoras y señores, después de tres asaltos, nos vamos a las tarjetas de los jueces. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gone the distance, and after three rounds, we go to the scorecards for a decision. All judges scored the fight 39-28 to declare the winner by unanimous decision to the hammer, Mauricio! Alfonso! Huge win for the Hammer. He's now 5-0.